So we know that managing your portions are so important, especially if you want to manage your performance, your energy, your engagement, and your waistline. And unfortunately today, we live in a society that encourages us to eat a lot more than what we need. So you only have to look at any fast food chain, takeaway outlets, restaurants, even at eventing and what's happening in the corporate space or at your local retailer where you purchase your groceries. We see this whole trend of where more is better. So the idea to supersize or to buy combos or to get three for the price of two or to buy 200 grams as opposed to 150 grams. But that whole approach really, it may be value for money short term, but it also gives us value for waistline because we know that when we have bigger packets of food, bigger containers or bigger portions in front of us, that we will consume more. There's some amazing work being done by Dr. Brian Wansink, who wrote a book called Mindless Eating. And he, he spends his life studying why human beings eat as much as we do and why it is that we just don't stop generally. Most of us will eat more and more. And one of the things that he takes a look at is what he calls portion distortion. Portion distortion is also the, the chapter heading of the biggest chapter in my book. Because I realized that when we eat on the run and we are eating out, and eating out can be from a restaurant to a conference, to a drive through, it could be a meal on a plane, that we are confronted potentially with portions that are bigger than what we need. And we will probably eat more when that happens. And if you want to manage your performance, so your physical energy and resilience, you need to manage how much you eat. We know you must have had the experience where you have a big meal and it doesn't give you lots of energy. Immediately after that meal, you wish you were Spanish and that you were going to take a two hour siesta. And also in terms of managing not just performance and energy, but your waistline, we know that if you eat too much, so your portions are too big, you will consume more kilojoules or more calories than what you need. And that will make you gain weight. So understanding the currency of food is very important if you wanna manage your waistline. So if you wanna lose some weight, you have to understand that if you consume more calories than what you need, or if you don't exercise enough to burn off the extra calories that you eat, that those extra calories are going to be stored somewhere. And that's going to slow down your weight loss efforts. So one way to help manage this portion distortion, there's many ways to tackle this, but I'd like to focus on just becoming aware of when you are purchasing food in any setting. So it could be, at a restaurant, it could be at the local cafeteria in your workplace, it could be in a board meeting where, well there you won't buy the biscuits, hopefully, but you're about to dish up, or you could be on the road, is to, to follow a model of putting together a meal on your plate that potentially could help you manage the portions that you need. So this approach that I use is called the portion power model. And the way that you use it is you don't need a scale, you don't need to weigh anything, you don't need to really read labels in this case or count kilojoule or calorie points. What you need is to use your hand or your fist as a guide for portioning up onto your plate. And ideally, at every meal that you have, you want to try and stick to this guideline as much as possible. So half of your plate of food should ideally be lots of color. And we're gonna go into some detail around what that means in another module. But ideally you want to have one or two fistfuls of color. That means vegetable, salad or fruit. And then the other half of your meal, you want to break up into the other two food groups. So protein and starch. And uh, ideally you want to be choosing the right kind of starches or carbohydrates. We'll also chat about that a bit later. And then protein, um, which would be chicken, meat, fish, eggs, or if you're vegetarian, the vegetarian options around protein. But I find in my experience of being a dietitian that it's a very practical approach. It's not 100% scientific, but I generally find that if you're a lady that's quite petite and small, your fist will be small versus a chap who's maybe a bit more boisterous and big and has a bigger hand. So using your fist as a guide is more suited for you and your body and your intake. So perhaps print out the attachment below that gives you an idea of this portion power model that seems very simple but we know that innovation is about the simple things. And this really can be an innovative way to help you manage your portions going forward. So half your plate would be a fistful or two of color, 
and the other half would be the protein and the carbohydrate. And in the next video, I'll just talk through a couple of tips and tricks and techniques that can help you to really maximize the portion plate model and make sure that it works for you.